Jen, how's it going? Great. Hey, Teresa. Hey, um, why don't we do a video and we show um, them why they would have like a private video on YouTube or if you have like a membership site, how you can have all these videos stored on YouTube and no one else can see those videos except for where they are on the membership site. Maybe we should teach them something like that because that's kind of a cool feature. Yeah, that's awesome. We I know we have videos on our site that are private and unlisted. So, um, all right, you guys. So yeah, this ahead. is all right. So this is how you do that. If you want a private video or an unlisted video, you log into your uh, YouTube account. We're logged in here as I brand your business TV. Okay, this is our the landing page. You want to make sure you go into your video manager section. So video manager. Here will list all of your videos that are on your YouTube channel. Okay, so this YouTube video that we have is actually an unlisted video. So this is why we wanted to show this to you. So pick the video that you want to make private or unlisted. You click the edit button right here from your video manager. You scroll down and right here on the right hand side, it says privacy settings. So we're going to go through these different privacy settings. So the first one is public. And it says right here, anyone can search for or view. Okay, well, we don't want this video to be searched or viewed. We want this one to be unlisted. And the reason we want this unlisted is we want this to go to a select number of people. We did a private coaching session with a group of people. We recorded it. We turned it into a video. And those people are the only ones that get to have the link to this video. So we made this video unlisted. You want to make sure down here that you always hit save changes and then what you do is when you go and get your link to share this information right so you click on the video and you go to the share button right here this link is what you want to share that you email to whoever you want so if, if you have a select group of people that you want to have this video then you send them that link the only way that they can get to this video is by clicking that link Okay, so now let's go back and let's say you want to actually make it private. Click on the edit button again. Then you're going to scroll down over to the privacy settings. So now we want to make this video private. And as Teresa said earlier, the reason you might want to make a video private is you might want to have it embedded in a membership site or a website, or you only want a particular number of people to see it. So the way that that works is you click on private, you come down here and you add their email address. Now, what that means is when you email them with the link, they have to be logged in as that email address. It's basically like giving them permission or giving them rights to see that video. Right, that's just for the link. For the link, awesome. Yeah. Embedded now, it would be something different. Embed, you can embed it on your website and it would still be private. So the other cool thing is that if you have your YouTube account connected to your Google Plus account, you can also add circles uh, onto your privacy settings as well. So you guys, we hope that helped you. Uh, we really wanted to share this with you. If you liked it or would please leave a comment and share it with your friends. And of course, please subscribe to iBrand Your Business TV. Thanks, you guys.